Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly and it's the start of a new vlog, vlog number 24. Can you believe that? Vlog 24. We should be in July now, you know, like it's June 27th for me. It's 5.43 p.m. I have a package and I want to show you what I got. So let's go ahead and start. Let me grab some scissors. Perfect sign <laughs> that the beads went everywhere. Yep, they sure did. But I got a big bottle of like these pastel beads. They're beautiful. And they're all just in here. I also got some of these blue ones. They're kind of opaque. They're very pretty. Okay, sorry. I couldn't just leave everything in the bag. So I took it all out. It's sitting on my table. I got all the beads back in this little guy. So I showed you guys these little ones. They're kind of like... Is it called opaque? I don't know. They're glossy. Can you even see that? There it goes. They're glossy. They're very pretty. I got the same but in pink. I got the white ones, the opalescent or whatever. They're all like that. I got three different types. I also got sage. Very pretty. And then I got some more white ones because I love like the white ones. And then we got some new toppers. This one says be the light. I have little zebra toppers now. They're so cute. I got little giraffes. Look how thick they are. They're really, really chunky. I got these cute little cows. They're adorable. I got two sets of these bees. I think they're so cute. And then I just got some rainbows, some plain colored rainbows. So that's all I got in this. I'm excited to like organize this. If you guys don't know, I do have a giveaway that just closed today and tomorrow I'll be picking two random winners to win some custom sewing sticks, my Darcy the Ducky pattern, and then my Inspire bracelets that go onto your plush. So I am very excited about that. Um, I think that's it for right now. I need to continue working on Darcy the Ducky, take some more photos for my pattern to release tomorrow i'm excited i'm just have a lot going on but we are going to make it work i'm going to work on that right now take some photos of that and hopefully um, finish that then i have to work on my mod for darcy which is the canadian goose that i'll have free on my instagram account so all right i will be back on <laughs> Hey guys, so I gotta say one thing. I feel like my hair looks so fluffy and like so pretty today. Um, it was hair wash day, so um, today is Friday. It is the 28th. It is 4.22 p.m. Um, I've been doing a lot, well not a lot. I slept in because I didn't go to sleep till like seven this morning that's crazy isn't it and then i had to wake up at like nine to do like the um to put my etsy listing up and everything i had prepped everything the night before that's why i went to sleep so late i'm coming on here to show you guys a yarn haul because my premieres order came in now typically i get like a huge box i don't have a huge box it's a small box but your girl needs to restock we have a lot of colors that are out so i did go through like my um shelves and took some out this was behind the scenes i didn't show you guys but i did do it to check to see what colors i was missing and there was a couple that like only had two so i only got like one skein of them since i had two because i like to have three on hand at all time just in case of a big project or anything like that so i'm very fortunate enough to be able to do that and some i have like a lot of like the new brown color that there is i probably have like 20 skeins of it why do I have 20 skeins of it I have no clue it's just so pretty <laughs> it doesn't justify it but yeah let me grab that box and we'll get to opening it with you guys I also feel like all I just like skate by but like Darcy the Ducky pattern is now available for you to purchase on Etsy so in case you want to make yourself a Darcy the Ducky she's on Etsy you can purchase it <laughs> um I forgot to mention that and I want to run a sale maybe this weekend I don't know I there's a lot of things that I want to do but 
do I have time to like figure it out? I don't know. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, let me show you because tomorrow I will be releasing a Canadian Goose mod for you guys to have. So it's this little baby. This is a Canadian Goose mod. But look how adorable she is. She's so cute with her little tail. Love her. I think I've shown you guys all of these, but we have Miss Little Rubber Ducky. She's so cute. We have a flamingo. We have a mallard. I wanted to do a chicken, but I didn't have time. I need to do hey hey. Like there's a couple that I need to do, which I, if I have time, I may try to work on that too. So I can have a post for Monday and just let you guys know. For now, let's go through this. Let's go through this yarn haul by Premier. Um, let me go ahead and grab my scissors here. Excuse me. I kind of changed it up. Usually I reach behind me for my scissors. I figured I would put it behind y'all so I can just reach this way instead of having to turn my whole chair around. So I thought that was a little more productive, I guess. Right off the bat, I see a lot of blues, which makes me happy because I'm missing some blues. But look at this good sneak peek there. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite blues that Premier carries. It's so like majestical, I feel. And it is called Azure. 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 <laughs> but yeah, that is this color. Very beautiful. I don't have too many of these left, so I figured I'd restock. Then we have Toffee. The, the other reason I purchased these is because they were on sale as well. You cannot not get any yarn when there's a sale i also have a hobie order coming in because there was a sale they were half off for their toucan yarn and their toucan yarn is comparable to premier parfait chunky so i love them just as well i am in love with their toucan fine though like that if that went on sale you wouldn't have been able to stop me from spending so much because i love the toucan fine yarn and i want every single color i don't have every single color in the toucan fine i probably only have like six to eight skeins of it but yeah i would buy like two of every color so i don't think they have that many colors though but then we ended up getting pale gray because of my gideon the gorilla i'm gonna have to take photos of it and make more of them so i need the gray I love this green from Premiere. Hobie also has like two greens that I'm like dying to see in person because they look beautiful online. So yeah. Then we have this one. It's an emerald. Then we have this teddy bear one. Of course I have a ton of teddy bear, but I'm always scared that I'm going to get low. And then they go out of stock so often in teddy bear that I just can't justify not getting it. Especially when they take like months to restock it sometimes. So I have to. If you guys have never tried Premier Yarns and you're interested, I do have like a 10% down in the description box. You just have to use like an email that you hadn't used before or if you're new to it do use your email um all that does is give me points i'm not like affiliated with him it's just like my ref my friend referral code is what it is but they haven't reached out to me to part or anything like that so i'm not really affiliated with them but that does help me because if you use it i do get like 500 points which equal dollar amounts to take off of my yarn hauls and you know I do them pretty often so I appreciate anybody who uses my codes and then we have this premier yarn in blue this is so pretty it is very different from azure azure is like do you can you tell like this is deeper and this is like a brighter blue so they're both beautiful though and then we have one in that funny one um because i have several of these one of seal i think this is number four so i had to get one more and then we have sea glass oh sea glass is so pretty too uh maybe i'm just obsessed with yarn and then the last color i got i believe this is yeah cotton candy so there's that i need to fill this wall up i also want to straighten my hair look at it um i will see you guys in a little bit hey guys it is july 2nd it's tuesday it's 4 47 p.m i'll be going live at 8 p.m today but i wanted to show you the things i've been making these last couple of days i made this cute little free pattern it's a little hatchling egg i think she had it out for like easter but i think it looks like a dino egg and i think it's so adorable so i had to make one it's so cute 
I kind of want to make a couple. I don't know how well they'll sell, but I think it's just so adorable. I think they're so cute, especially with like this variegated yarn. Yes, please. The next thing that I've been working on is Hazel the Hummingbird by Ariana H and K Crochet. She has this pattern test going on right now, and I think she should be releasing this pattern tomorrow. At least that's when everything was due. So very adorable. I did like these little yellow eyes to go with this. And it has like a, I feel like a sparkle of green. So I did the wings blue and yellow and green. This is my favorite color here. It's rain. So I had to do the hummingbird in that color. And then I used, I think this is the limited edition color. I always forget the name of it, but it's the limited edition brown. I think she looks so adorable. Hazel's so cute. She's so tiny. She works out pretty quick. You do have to sew on the wings. You have to make, of course, the little flower hat separate. I think everything else you crochet on, you'll crochet on the little beak and the little legs. The legs are my favorite little part. They're so adorable. They're like little claws, you know? But yeah, long tail, so cute. But yeah, I'm actually giving this to my mom. She loved it so much and it's gonna go like right where her little meds are. So I thought that's so adorable. I just had to grab it back from her because I wanted to show you guys. I've already taken pictures of it and everything. So yeah. And then the other thing that I've been working on is a new pattern of mine. I decided to buy some new yarn, which to I don't know why I'm saying this in preface of this because they really don't correlate, but I decided to buy some new yarn and it's because I wanted to try out the dolphin baby yarn or something like that. They sell it on Amazon, so I went ahead and bought a couple skeins because I want to make Tinkerbell and that is a pattern that I bought on Instagram and I've been wanting to make it, but the green that she uses for the Tinkerbell that I bought, I really want that green i don't want like this bright green she it's like a light dull sagey green like it's it's different than any green that i have so i had to and so i'm like why not just buy every single color that she used for tinkerbell so that's what i did minus the white for the wings i figured i could just use white from um premiere it's so adorable i'm excited it doesn't get here until saturday so i couldn't start on tinkerbell and i'm like well i really want to start on another teeny baby i have I'm not kidding you. I just feel like most of my teeny babies have been like one and done. Sometimes I'll have to remake it just to shape it a little bit better, but the gist of like the entire body and the legs and the tail and like if they have ears, things like that, I feel like I get it in the first go and then after that, like it's just to enhance the pattern, you know? But like the generalization of the body and everything I get like in my first round, but I think it has to do with like I already know what I want out of my yarn and I know what stitches I'm going to use to get to that and how many rounds it may look good. Sometimes I play with the rounds. So that's just a little tidbit of like if you're trying to make patterns or create patterns, um, you just really have to know your stitches and I am a firm believer if even if you just draw like a stick figure but you like write down like what you want out of the stitches, you know what you're going to need in that row. So if you're wanting like a slimmer snout, you know you're going to have to decrease at one point. So that is just a tidbit um because you know i feel like some people are like you come out with so many patterns you know or you're coming out with so many patterns how are you doing this so fast and i think it has to do with the generalization of i know what i want from my yarn i know the size that i want my little babies to be like i know an approximation so i know in my head like the the head cannot be no more than 12 rounds you know what i mean so i have to do what i will need to do within those 12 rounds so that's kind of how i've generalized it as because if it's if the head's too long i'm like nope i gotta start over that is way too long i took too long to decrease i need to start decreasing at round four and since i've already made like i feel like 10 to 12 teeny babies i kind of already have a generalized notion of where I want 
the stitches to be you know what specific stitches I want all that to preface that I made a new teeny baby and you guys will probably see it on my live so if you were on my live you've already seen it I just can't contain my excitement because these babies are beautiful and dear to me and today's his birthday and I already have a name for him his name is Arlo and that is because my really 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 close friend I consider her like my best friend um, in real life her little baby is named Arlo and I was trying to find like an a name and i was looking online and i'm like his name should definitely be arlo like why am i even looking for names like my bestie has a, a baby and the baby is adorable and i think this baby this teeny baby is adorable and it's my baby so you know like arlo so <laughs> This is Arlo, guys. I hope you guys enjoy him. He is so cute. He is Arlo the alligator. He does have spikes on his back. They are surface crocheted. I asked on YouTube and on Instagram what you guys rather have if you would rather have bobble stitches or if you would rather have like surface crochet, um, chain, like a chain to make a spike. And you know, the consensus was kind of in the middle. Um, I'm still waiting to see what you guys say. YouTube says um, Instagram is leaning towards more bobbles, even though I've already done the spikes. I got some messages too saying, like several messages saying, well, it just depends on. They're like, I chose bobble, but it just depends on what you're what you're creating because if you're wanting more of a point we'd rather have surface crochet. If you're wanting more of like a circular bobble, then we want bobbles. And I'm like, that that's a good point you make a good point. So I figured with those messages and I know right now spikes isn't winning, I would do surface crochet spikes only because an alligator has spiky spikes on its back. They're not like rounded. So I figured spikes would be the better alternative. Um, I can definitely make the baubles if you guys want, but I think he looks so cute with the, the spikes on his back. Look at him. Everything is no so. The only thing you surface crochet are the spikes. You do in the body and the tail is actually just crocheted into the round. Just like its little legs. But yeah, I think he's so cute and his name is Arlo. So he is even cuter. I just, I love this. Like his little, his little tail like, I feel like bends forward. My dad's like, you can totally make a scorpion with that, with that tail. And I'm like, hmm. Maybe I should make a scorpion, <laughs> you know, change everything up and keep that tail the same. Maybe a little bit pointier. I don't know, but we'll see, you know, creative juices flow. I wanted to show you guys this one. I also am playing or toying with the idea of my teeny baby horse, which spoiler alert, um, I've been crocheting a horse for my teeny baby collection because I've had several people ask for a horse, um, which, you know, can slash it can be a unicorn, a, you know, Pegasus, all that. But I have no clue where I left him. I don't know where he's at. I've looked for him and I don't know where he's at. I don't know if I accidentally put him with, cause I try to like, you know, every month I try to dump everything into a big bag in another room. So this room doesn't get like suffocated with toys with Amigurumi. So I don't know if he's over there and I accidentally put him over there. So I don't have him to show you. I'm gonna have to look for him when I get a chance. I am going to tell you guys my next teeny baby that is the mystery pattern. I am going to go ahead and reveal it because this video doesn't come out until Thursday. I'm picking my testers today and they're getting notified today. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, July 3rd, everyone will know what the teeny baby was because that's when I posted. I reveal it the next day so no one is able to like reveal it for me. I feel like I'll let testers know, you know, a night in advance and then that morning I'll post about it. So if they finish, if they finish my tester, you know, if they test it out and they finish and they want to post about it, they definitely can. So I have that going on, but I am choosing them tonight. I'm excited. And it is Marvise the teeny baby monkey. So let me grab him so I can show you guys who I'm talking about. Okay. The other thing, oh my gosh, I know I just said I cut it and I was like, we need to talk about Marvise and show you guys. I also need to work on Darcy the Duck mod 
for the Canadian Goose. I need to make that post. I was going to come out with it on Saturday. I just didn't have time. There's a lot of stuff on my list. So to keep myself accountable for this week because I'm going to be editing this video, I'm going to try to edit a little at a time. So I'll probably edit a little bit. So Melly, you need to remember. <laughs> this is a reminder to me and I'll just I'll let you guys know what what I'm supposed to be working on. My Canadian Goose Mod. Um, pictures for Maurice, the teeny baby monkey for my pattern. Pick pattern testers tonight. My hooks. So I definitely need to go and stop by Joann's or Michael's because I need some, what is it called? Heat, some vinyl, heat vinyl, heat, something to put on my hooks. I've talked about it last time. You see the, the H and G. 4.5 that's exactly what I want to do and I need that in order to put the last layer of resin on it just like this this is not my hook this is from hooks and glitter if you guys want a hook definitely check out hooks and glitter there's also another Etsy I can link it down below they sell great hooks I just bought another hook from them I support small businesses too just because I'm making hooks doesn't mean you have to solely buy from me like they do amazing they look this is a watermelon hook guys like so cute not trying to like take business from them because they do amazing work too you know so i believe that we can all win and not just one person who is creating hooks should you know what i mean like you can what i'm trying to say is you can like hooks from three different people and su and support three different people you don't have to support just one person just because they're making hooks you know you can support three different people that make hooks that make safety ad blah blah blah, blah. so all that to say is go support these people if you want a very creative crochet hook because mine are just glitter at the moment so they are amazing and i've been using this one non-stop for my teeny babies all right now that we're done with that, let's show you Maurice. This is Maurice, my teeny baby monkey. He is so cute, so adorable, so tiny. He's very plush. I freaking love him. He was like one of my first makes. But yeah, I just love him. His little tail. Oh, he's just so cute, I swear. He is so cute. I feel like the camera doesn't do him justice whenever you're like in front of him. Like, he's just so cute. A lot of you guys thought it was going to be the gorilla Gideon but it's not Gideon Gideon will have his time to shine I promise but for now it is Maurice who will be doing we're doing the tester call on I need to find my horse I don't know where it's at he he needs a lot of work I don't like the way the head came out it came out a little too long um the top of his head is a little too flat for me it needs to be bigger so i need to increase so i need to find him so i can remake him so i know where i need to change things up in the pattern that's why i'm like where is he at because i need him i need him i don't even have a name i guess it's a him it could be a her the horse i don't know yet the other thing that i've been working on that i haven't shown you guys i feel like i'm stumbling on words here but i haven't shown you guys is this little Darcy. So I'm making her um, Hey Hey from Moana. I know, I know it's a duck and Hey Hey's a chicken. But I just, it, you know, I just think he's cute. I think she's going to look adorable. She just needs to finish. I'm also working on a just regular chicken, like white with red and orange. Regular chicken mod. Darcy's just very versatile, I feel like. And I think she'd be so cute. You can also make her into ketchup, which is the little ducky from Animal Crossing. So I also want to work on a strawberry mod for Miss Darcy the Duck. There's a lot of things I want to do with Darcy because Darcy is so versatile. I just think she would look adorable in so many things, you know? The reason she doesn't have safety eyes is because we're actually going to be making like the little white patches first and that will be what is what the safety eyes attached to so but yeah this is what i've been working on this weekend as well like i i feel like i need to show you an overview of what i'm looking at right now because it's overwhelming and i'm overwhelmed i want you guys to be overwhelmed with me <laughs> that's mean isn't it i'm still showing you I am watching uh, Murphy Crochets. She just, it's Addison. She just posted a new video um, like less than 40 minutes ago. So you got to support your girls and I sure do. So let me go ahead and flip you guys around and show you what I'm looking at because oh, it's a lot.
you see what I mean by a lot but yeah I am going to try to clean this up a little bit like I said I do have my live at 8 p.m. CST so I gotta get ready for that as well I will probably straighten this hair it's freshly washed from last night so I'm excited to be straightening it and looking a little bit more presentable for you guys I was thinking about like starting to do like my just my makeup just like a plane just because I am constantly on camera and you know sometimes I'm like hmm I look crusty like <laughs> maybe they will continue watching if I don't look so crusty so I apologize in advance but um, you guys should be seeing more presentable Melly <laughs> coming up so in the upcoming vlogs you know we gotta work on ourselves and we gotta feel good we gotta look good you know so I am going to try to start you know looking more presentable for you guys so yeah that is it for right now I will see you guys in a little bit if I find the horse I will show you guys that if I work on any other teeny animal I'll work on that because I plan on making several teeny animals with these type of little hands so whatever you can think of armadillo possums like whatever you can think of that have like little fingers you guys let me know down in the comments below because I will most likely make it so leave some suggestions what do you want to look for in this collection and trust me I already have like 10 teeny babies so if you haven't seen any of my other crochet vlogs and this is your first one welcome in guys I love to make patterns for you guys I sell them on my Etsy which is linked down below and I hope you consider giving it a look or trying it out for yourself because I promise you all of these are no so all of my collections will be no so maybe one day I'll venture out into it not being no so but I like no so patterns so can you fault me <laughs> all right I'll see you guys in a little bit okay so remember how I told you I couldn't find my horse pattern well I found him he was he was hiding from me or she I don't know here he goes look at his mane he's a little emo just a little bit but yeah he's a cutie like I said I think his head needs to be needs to go a little bit higher up I think I like this part of him Look, I'm already calling him a him. It could be a her. And then I need to figure out the ears because I made one. I didn't make the second one because, ooh, eyes are popping out. Eyes are popping out. Get back in there, sir. Okay. But yeah, I need to figure out to make the head a little bit higher to go up a little bit more. He's okay. He's just not my favorite, and I don't like feeling that about my patterns. I want to love them. I want other people to love them, so we'll remake him. I just wanted to show you that I did work on that pattern as well. He doesn't have a birthday yet because we're not done with him, so birthdays are when they are completely done and finished. Um, you know, need itty bitty adjustments, but he is not complete yet, so no birthday for him just yet. I think that's it for right now. I am about to work on the 3K one. Oh my gosh, look what I just realized. It's missing teeth. I need to throw that away. <laughs> Um, but I had two 3K winners on Instagram. One of them never responded, so I guess only one person's gonna get something shipped out, and that is Alicia. Thank you so much for entering, and she is getting some sewing sticks. She got her Darcy the Ducky pattern already, and then she's getting the bracelet. I already gave her a little freebie and then some stickers so yeah I just need to make her sewing sticks which she already picked out her topper so I just need to make them I might just make them on live because it's almost seven o'clock so I might just wait I'm kind of feeling inspired I kind of want to make another little baby teeny baby so we'll see I don't know if I should start on a new teeny baby or um, work on Maurice because he's not completely done so I might work on Maurice because he needs to fit he needs to be done so all right um that is all for the update for now um yeah I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit 
Hey guys, so today is Wednesday. It's 3 28 p.m. It took so much for me to get out of bed today. I have just been with a like constant migraine. Well, it's like a headache almost wanting to turn into a migraine. So I literally just got up maybe like an hour ago. Um, I do have a lot of things to do today, so let's go ahead and talk about it um i received a sewing stick order for these cute little koala bear sewing sticks by christy so thank you so much christy for ordering i already have her note and i have her little free goodie so we're going to pack this up and then i also have to make a shipping label for Alicia, which is Edith's Amy Adventures. She's a, one of the ones that won my giveaway this past week that I had. The other person never responded and she has yet to respond. So I guess it was like a dummy account. So I only had one winner, unfortunately. Okay, let's go ahead and do Christie's order here. While we're here, I already have my scale out too to weigh it. And we have her little package a little poly mailer it has been so hot lately i don't know if it's hot where you guys are at let me know but the struggle is real <laughs> we can't forget her handmade with love sticker there it goes let's turn my scale on And that is it for right now. I need to go to Michael's. I need to drop these packages off. So I may show you guys a little sneak peek when I go to Michael's because I need to buy the Cricut stuff for the crochet hook. So I will probably bring you guys along at least for a little snippet. So I'll be back. That's probably the next clip you guys will see. <laughs> That's where we're at. We're at, oh, oh, Michael's. I think you can kind of see it. There it goes. We're about to go in. Um, yeah we're trying to only find cricket things for my crochet hook so i don't need to look at the yarn section but you know i will so let me take you guys in Hey guys i'm back i'm sure you guys saw little snippets of my michael's trip let me show you the damage that i did because damage was in fact done so i got this little bag a hundred dollars i'm exaggerating 88 dollars but still with the thing that i ordered online which i'll explain in just a second was a hundred dollars <laughs> let me take all of this out because this noise is not going to fly for the entire video, you know, so 
I'll be right back. Okay, now that everything is laid out in front of me, let me show you guys. So the main reason that I went was to buy stuff for my Cricut Joy. I do have a Cricut Maker 3. When did they come out with a Cricut Joy Extra? Because I feel like I need it, and I don't. I was like really contemplating at the store, like should I get it, should I not? I don't need it. I don't know why I was even thinking that I needed or wanted it. Anyways, I have a Cricut Joy, which it's sitting up on top of one of the shelves, so I have to take it down here in just a second. I'll bring it down. But I do have a Cricut Joy. Um, I haven't replaced that blade in ever, so I bought a new replacement blade. Of course, these are a tad bit expensive for what it is but i have the housing unit i should anyway so i shouldn't need the housing unit because the housing unit with the blade was 30 dollars. this one's only 15 so i'm like you know what let's pray that the housing blade is in there because if it's not your girl's gonna be upset okay next i bought like this 10 feet of smart vinyl it's permanent vinyl and it's in white because i want to do white for all of my hooks um, I want the little elephant to be in white and then the millimeter size of the hook to be in white because I feel like that's the brightest and you'll be able to see it. It'll pop. So hopefully you guys aren't upset about that, but that is what I'm using and it's like a glossy white. So that's what I bought. Smart Vinyl Permanent. Then I got this transfer tape. I got the 20 feet one versus like just the regular one. So we got some transfer tape, not too, you know, crazy here. And then we got two of the Cricut Joy just standard grip mats. They had the longer ones, but I remember, I like distinctly remember you trying to use the longer ones. And since it's like stronger grip, it was so hard for me to pull off the vinyl from it. Maybe that's just a me thing, but I bought two of these, 10 bucks each. So, I mean, that alone was like $90, you know, then of course you guys saw me head over to the glitter section and the yarn section Surprisingly, I didn't buy any yarn, but the yarn section is so tiny at my Michaels I've seen people's Michaels have like three rows I have one and a half row and the other half row is like acrylic. No, thank you So there wasn't anything good, which is fine because I don't need to buy any more yarn I have like three yarn orders on the way like two from Michael. No one from Michaels two from no my gosh one from premiere two from hobie so oh and then one from amazon so i don't need any more yarn i keep saying that every week i know y'all <laughs> y'all are like we're tired of you saying this melly and you're not doing anything about it girl i know me too me too okay so i did buy some glitters and i'm excited um my glitters my glitters my hooks i'm thinking i will push it back to next week just because of my health that has been going on i have this major headache like it has been non-stop and it helps when i'm like laying horizontal so um i am gonna go ahead and just push it back because i don't want to overwork myself you know what i mean so i know you guys will understand the people who are actually here and like actually care about my well-being which is everybody i know you guys understand so i appreciate you guys but i did buy some more glitters i bought this beautiful purple look at that it's in the color fairy fee fairy fee so pretty and then i got this one it's just a white i'm thinking i can mix like this and white this and white let me a ton of colors with white and this is called glitz brilliant then we have mist so pretty we have this beautiful frost we have this one is my one of my favorite ones that I picked up today. It's called Sky Blue. And then the last one for my girlies who I believe it was Stacy and Caitlin who are sharing a hook. I got you girls some orange and this is called Neon Orange. So there you go. These are all the colors that I got. Let me put them in front of you guys. These are all the new colors look how beautiful they are they're so vibrant so yeah and then i can probably mix some together and then i have some more already so my collection is slowly growing i'm kind of scared low-key to like buy like the bigger the thicker um the thicker glitter the chunky glitter because it didn't work out well the first time so i am sticking to just extra fine glitter at this very moment and then maybe i'll venture out into like extra thick glitter but right now we're not doing that we're just gonna this is the way that 
my hooks have looked great so we're gonna stick to it for now then every time I'm in store I like look for deals to see if there's any coupons I can use at the front and then there's sometimes if you order online it's so much cheaper so I've been wanting another I know this is crazy but I've been wanting another light and this light was literally like 40 bucks but it was 35% off if I ordered online why would I not order it online and then pick it up so I ordered it online and I'm like all right and it's one of those ot lights the what are they called it's it's this the ot light so I already have one of these I don't ever use it look I'm gonna turn it on right now this one I have one up here and I like it but it when I bought it it was like 70% off that's the only reason I bought it and it was very big it's really big the bottom part is really big so I really have nowhere to put it so I just put it on top of that shelf well this one has a smaller bottom to it and I really wanted it and like I said I think it was like $40 in store and then there was a 35% off if you order online and pick up why would I not do that so I tried my best to stay in the store for the longest I probably ordered it like I don't know at 4 15 by 5 o'clock I was like I'm ready like I'll just pick it up tomorrow tell me why as soon as as soon as I check out and keep in mind the worker had to go and get this for me because this um, replacement blade you know you have to ask an associate so I waited a good 5 10 minutes even after that so it was like 5 10 5 15 I'm like opening the door to my car and I get a notification right notification of Michael saying my pickup order is ready I was so embarrassed I'm like am I gonna go in I literally went into my car and stayed in my car for another 10 minutes because I'm like I can't like maybe just pick it up tomorrow or maybe come later to pick it up I was like very contemplate like I was so on the verge of like just getting out of the parking lot because I'm like no like I'm already a nervous person so this anxiety had me through the roof so I was messaging my mods and I'm like guys I don't know what to do I think messaging them gave me the courage to just go in there and do it because I did not want to go back to Michael's again so I weighed out like my options and I'm like okay just go in just go in Melly so I went in well I don't know why they send you the notification saying it's ready for pickup when it's not even in there it wasn't even in there so I had to talk to an associate and I was all like hey I know I was just in here because that person had just helped me get this replacement blade so I was like hey um I ordered something online and now it says that um it's here like it I ordered something online and now it says that it's ready for me to pick up and so I guess I have a complicated last name so I was telling her about it she went to go look she's like is this your last name I'm like nope so then she was confused and a worker a pro another worker approached her and he was like and keep in mind this worker I did not want to ask that one because he literally saw me looking at these lights and putting placing my order placing my order online that's embarrassing like he was there he was in the aisle he looked at me and I put it back and then I was like on my phone so I mean maybe he thought I wasn't gonna get it I don't know but it was embarrassing to me so he was all like when did you place this order <laughs> uh, I was all like um I don't know literally 15 minutes ago like or 35 minutes ago yeah, I didn't say that I was all like oh I don't know he's all like guess <laughs> I was like <laughs> and he was like if you had to put a number what how long ago did you place it I was just like in my head like does it matter sir does it matter because you gave me the notification on my phone saying that it's ready for pickup I'm embarrassed Ugh. I become very hostile whenever now I wasn't hostile to him like in my head I became very hostile because I'm like why are you asking but no I just told him I said I don't know maybe like 30 minutes ago or so maybe an hour ago and he just looked at me because I'm pretty sure he knew like girl you lying like you you I was just with you in that same aisle 25 minutes ago so long story short we found it it's here I have it I was so embarrassed walking back to my car though it was just a wee bit embarrassing but we have it and um i'm excited it's like a smaller one i paid 22 dollars for it instead of the 40 so yes please thank you i do not regret using the online pickup because 
your girl got it and yeah did i need this no my battery's about to die let me change it real quick <laughs> okay so i went ahead and grabbed my joy um yeah i have no clue where the plug-in is so i am gonna have to figure that out here in a little bit but I wanted to open some packages that I just got when I got home. Just wanted to see what they were. So I have two packages. I have two packages. I have this one and this one. This one's a hook, so I want to get to this one first. I'm not sure if it's my hooks and glitter one or the crafting and glory glitter hook. I think it's a crafting and glory one. Yes, I think so. Let's just open this up. It's not, it's actually the um, hooks and glitter hook. Yeah, it's the hooks and glitter hook. And it is my two colors. So I did get it in a six and a half. Just because I use a six and a half with my um, brunette blanket, my sweet snuggles, all of that. So that's why I got a six and a half. It is so pretty, very pretty though overall, so. And then we got an Amazon package, so I don't know why it's so light. It might not even be mine. I say that, and every time I open it, it's never mine. <laughs> yeah, this is not mine. <laughs> I'm not going to show you what it is, but yeah. Okay, well, let me try to find... Oh, that might not be good. <laughs> let me try to find this cord... I don't even know what it looks like. I hope it says Cricut. I hope it says Cricut because I have a lot of cords just laying around. So, well, um, I'm also going to put this up. So I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I'll be back. Okay, so this is with the light on over here on the right. And then that's with the light off. So I think it looks really good and I can move it down. If I want to, and I know I've been talking about this for a long time, but I do plan on doing a, like a video tutorial for one of my plushies. So stay tuned for that. I just, I want to do Samba, the elephant, but, um, we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the light. Now I got more light. <laughs> hey guys. So it is 2.40 a.m. It's Thursday. It's July 4th. This is going to be the last update to this vlog because I need to edit you guys. So I have a lot of unfinished things like my Darcy the Duck that's going to be like hey hey inspired. I did start on a new teeny baby. I have the arms and one leg. I don't know if you can tell what it is. If you think you know what it is just leave a comment down below to to see if you're right or not we'll see i don't know if many people will guess it right and then the other thing i've been working on if you guys are huge pokemon fans you know who this is i'm trying to pick a couple of good free patterns to test out pokemon themed so this is one of them i just have the body and i have an arm it just fell so let me grab it real quick here is the arm that I have. So cute. It's missing the thumb. So that's a separate piece that I need to make for it, but it's very adorable. Sorry, I forgot to turn the other light on. So the other clips are probably a little bit darker. One arm done. Here's the body. I need the thumb and then I need to make another arm, the eyes, the legs. So it's working out pretty quick though. It is a bigger plush though. I mean, you can see it's like a nice small pillow size so very cute though i do want to make a darcy the duck fourth of july theme with like stars on her bum so i may actually just do that um before the end of today i don't know but i also need to edit this video so but at least i moved my time to 2 p.m so my video will upload at 2 p.m and not at 12 i was having a hard time with that but like 
I think I can get it done in like an hour. So I'll probably do that. You guys probably won't see that theme duck until the next vlog just because. And I didn't even have time to work on those keychains that I told you guys. I was supposed to have my pop-up shop yesterday, Wednesday, and I didn't go. I Like I said, I haven't been feeling the best and I slept all day. So yeah, I feel okay right now, but... I know here in a little bit I'm gonna wanna go to bed. So I'm probably just gonna work on Darcy, the 4th of July ducky. After that, I'll probably go to bed. And then in the morning, I can edit you guys. I can edit this vlog for you guys. That is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like I didn't do much. Hopefully you guys get something out of it. And yeah, this little guy's in testing mode. So I'm excited for you guys to be able to pick him up on my Etsy shop. If you guys don't know, I crochet plushies. I have patterns that you guys are able to purchase on my Etsy. Right now, actually, a 4th of July sale is going on, so if you want like Darcy the Duck, Benji the Beaver, Colin the Koala, or even Samba the Elephant, you guys are able to pick those up now. So that is it. I will see you guys on today's live, actually. I will be on live for a little bit. I appreciate you guys, and stay safe for 4th of July. Bye, guys. Bye.